bell hertz is like cycles per second? Yes. So, yeah, when I started, it was cycles per second. <laughs> <laughs> but if, in case somebody didn't know what a hertz was. Well, yeah, hertz, uh, he was a famous physicist. He used to do things where you take pieces of metal like this and he discharge a spark with them, and then you have another piece of metal shaped the same. And when he discharged a spark through this one, a spark would jump on the end of this one. That was his transfer. I mean, terribly inefficient. But he figured that out. So they, they named they named the number of cycles per second. All the everybody wants to do that, and every country wants to do it too, right? I mean, you look at the table that charted the elements. There's Berkeley, and then California, <laughs> the next one. Einsteinium. Einsteinium. Yeah. Well, the Russians got busy really fast. <coughs> they quote some fast ones there. We won't go into that. But they got some, you know, Mendel Levium or something. Uh, you know, they got the name after some of their famous people. Well, it, we do the same thing. And, and so uh, we have units like amperes. French guy, uh, Hertz. Uh, there was uh, Volta, an Italian. He was playing with frogs legs and dissimilar metals and he could make the frog leg jump. That was Volta. He figured out what voltage was. And uh, uh, Ohm. 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 George. Yeah. Ohm. George. Ohm. George. And then, of course, they got a whole, a whole crazy thing. Is that if, if, if you have something like Ohms, and then you can, in algebra, you know, you can have one divided by ohms. <coughs> well, that's the reciprocal, right? That, you know, they call that the reciprocal. So what do they name that? Ha ha! Mo's. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see how. And then there's different units designed to suppress constants, you know, so that things come out easy. And then there's ab amperes and stat volts and it goes on and on. And then you have ferrets for the, how big a capacitor is, right? Well, if you have one over capacitance, those are derafts. <laughs> Ferret, derafts. I heard that. Yeah. And then if you have different unit systems, it could have ab derafts, <laughs> the use of which has been deprecated, I think, is the way they put it. And we don't use those anymore. Anyhow, okay, so, yes? So why is it called ham radio? Oh, <laughs> who knows? I know. From amateur? Yeah. Oh, I've heard so many stories. I have. I mean, in England, you know how they drop their H's? <laughs> Ham, amateur? Or they go, Am amateur? <laughs> There's a lot of debate about that. Yeah, who knows? Did you guys have been hands for a while? Did yeah. they have a certain name for the, the new hands? They don't have one once no. Oh, some deprecating uh, yeah. terminology. <laughs> Worse than newbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 but I, I'm sure there is that. Um, I think the focus of this meeting is uh, communications during emergencies. And so would you address shortwave, CB, and ham radio? Oh, the yes. Oh, thank you for that question. What a great question. <coughs> I, I get in love with the technology. Can I add to that question? Yes. I have a, a little twenty-five dollar walkie-talkie, and I think it operates on like four sixty-two megahertz yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, can you compare that with the rest while you're talking? Sure. About? Sure. Yeah. Okay. The, the Friends Radio is called. Yeah. FRS and FRS Friend Radio System. That's four hundred and sixty megahertz, about. Yeah. And then. And, and then emergency communications. Okay. Shortwave, CB, and ham. Yeah, yeah, CB, ham. Okay. Shortwave? Is that uh, the... Well, ham, shortwave, that would be the same. You can't broadcast on quote, quote, shortwave. That's for licensed. Oh, I see, just for listening. Oh, yeah, we mean yeah, like uh, when you hear music yeah, and yeah, Voice of America. I see, and I see. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think, okay, yeah. Guys do it once in a while, and then they get their fingers around. And the drums. All right. Um, Here's 2 megahertz, here's 30, here's 150, here's 460. Now, it turns out that these low frequencies go across the ground, ground wave, like the way we listen to KOH in Reno. Um, those are just ground waves. They don't even use the sky at all. That's why you hear them, like we could hear KOH right here, it gets 
Is that Gwen? They're not waving her. Didn't see that one. Well, that's a whole nother thing. Okay. I don't know. That's a fun one. So, the citizen's band is limited right here at 27 megahertz. That means that it's pretty much not quite line of sight. Actually, those things do bend over the mountain a little bit. You could talk from Truckee maybe to Tawa City if you were lucky, you know, under really good conditions. Um, isn't that about right? I mean, yeah. oh, so something like that. Um, in an emergency, that frequency wouldn't be a good frequency to use. You can't go long distances, okay? Um, that wouldn't be so good, all right? And the uh, CB operators, have, you have a piece of equipment you buy, but there's no jiggery pokery. I mean, no one has them hooked into the telephone or they're not set up to run on batteries or generators and stuff like that. Now, once a year, if you get into ham radio, we have an event called Field Day. And a bunch of guys, it's a good excuse to bring several six packs in. Uh, <laughs> the guys hang out, tell stories, and <clears throat> swap lies all weekend. But they set up this equipment. They might go up to Lake Pyramid, and put up a mast and an antenna, and then you'll try to see how many other stations you can talk to. Same game again, right? And uh, uh, But the whole excuse of it is to be prepared for an emergency. And the rules for field day are you are encouraged to use batteries or a generator, but not to hook up to the power line. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you could. And, some, and, and, and for those guys who can't go out, and you, to make it more fun, you have someone to talk to, so you stay home and you talk to them, right? <laughs> but, uh, but uh, and those are generally always in, on those little segments in here, okay? And you, you change, if it's during the day, you might be on 28 megahertz, and then uh, in the afternoon you go to 21, and then 14 in the early evening, and then pretty soon that peters out, and you're on seven, and then three and a half, even 1.8, just above the broadcast bit. Oh, I got a swell set up on top of that, my God, a huge antenna with wire running down both sides of the hills, and it, it's way up in the middle of no, the you know, I mean, it really works well. I remember talking to a guy on some island in the South Pacific, yeah, in the middle of the night, you're so loud. I said, oh, come on top of a mountain. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it makes a difference. It helps.